Hey, what's going on guys? Sinister Skater here and I have some brand new Call of Duty Ghost DLC gameplay for you guys from the brand new Devastation map pack. And we have some gameplay on one of the multiplayer maps called Ruins. And this map has a bunch of stuff into it that makes it very, very interesting. Like the Predator kill streak, which is similar to the Maniac and the Michael Myers from a Fog. And there's also a normal field order with the Giant Volcano Blast. And the map is pretty cool itself. And you will be seeing gameplay from everything that I just mentioned within this video. As well as gameplay with the new Ripper weapon. Although I did have Ripper gameplay earlier on my channel about a month ago. Because Season Pass holders did get access to the weapon earlier. So first things first, let's talk about the map a little bit. It is a basically a ruin. It's all Mayan-ish, like Mayan temple kind of layout, kind of jungly. This map actually reminds me of that Black Ops 1 map, uh, jungle, that one section. I remember it was like in the back of the map. It was kind of like a Mayan temple-ish themed area. It kind of reminds me of that, but there's a lot of different levels. This whole map pack, all the maps really, except for the dome remake on Earth, have a lot of different like levels to play on. They're, all the maps are pretty small, but they're kind of big because they have a bunch of levels. Like this map has the main area, like I guess you could say the base level, like on the ground. And then there's also a temple that you can go up to on top of that. And then from that main level, you can go down a level into like the underground area. Then you can also go down, I think, again into like an under underground area. Not like down a lot, but I think there's like four different levels to this map. And there's a bunch of different paths you can take. It's all windy. It's very close quarters. And it's kind of like a maze. I'm not going to lie. At first, it, if you play it and don't like run around. Even when I ran around the map in a private match to like kind of get a feel for it. It was pretty confusing to me. It took me a, uh, actually a really long while to kind of learn the map in not get lost because it is very confusing a lot of stuff looks the same but nonetheless it looks pretty sick and which makes this map even sicker is this new predator field order kill streak now this thing if you guys don't know what the predator predator vs alien you know that whole series where this alien dude he's pretty he's a badass um they brought that in to this map on ruins which is similar to michael myers on fog this guy is kind of based off like the maniac like michael myers was he runs faster than a normal person. I'm not sure if he runs. I think it's actually a little slower than the Maniac. It's definitely not as fast as Michael Myers. But, like, the Maniac is the Maniac. That's kind of like the baseline. Michael Myers was, like, this fast, swift. You could chop really fast and run around fast and, like, evade people, weave back and forth, and kill them all. So he's, like, kind of the fast, swift dude. Now, the Predator is kind of more of a slow, stealthy, beefed-up, like, gun dude. The features on this thing, if you... I'm not sure if you move slow or stand so i know when you run around you're normal but if you stand still for like two seconds you go into your cloak and then i was also able to walk without sprinting and keep that cloak on so i think as long as you stand still and get your cloak on and then don't sprint you keep your cloak on until you shoot which you can shoot your plasma caster which is a little shoulder cannon thing this is where that uh m40 predator or whatever the dude that did the sniping montage has got his little lock on from he has this uh plasma cannon on his shoulder you can lock on to someone and then shoot it and there's like a five second reload time before you can shoot it again you also have your little awesome predator wolverine knuckle looking fist that you go ahead and swipe people with and then finally we have the thermal vision which is this infrared cool bluish pinkish you know awesome thermal infrared vision looking thing which makes it a lot easier to see enemies in it it's actually very useful on this map because enemies do kind of blend in a lot especially with all the mazes you're kind of like looking fast down this path once and then down the other path kind of just glancing back and forth you just turn that thermal vision on you can see someone freaking lock on and then blast them away with your plasma caster and the last thing the predator has is when it is killed it drops in to last stand or final stand now before everyone starts freaking out thinking they brought death streaks back into it you're not able to shoot in the final stand or whatever you kind of just sit there and you press a couple buttons on your wristwatch and then or not wristwatch but you know on your wrist there's like buttons and stuff and a five second countdown starts and when this countdown hits zero basically i don't know if the predator blows up or something on the map blows up or you like call something in but basically it's a kem strike and the whole map lights up like a chem it blows up and you get a kill for every dude on the enemy team because you kill them all with the chem strike it's pretty boss and you know with all that the predator is just freaking he's amazing and then the other field, and you get that from the field order, I'm not sure if I mentioned that, but the other field order on this map is the volcano explosion, which is pretty cool as well. 
once you get this in your field order, you hear the map start to shake once you activate it, and then the volcano in the background has this giant, you know me, you know I love my optical flares, has this giant nice optical flare on top of it, it starts to glow, and then it erupts, and it shoots fireballs down all around the map, and lasts for like 30 seconds, you know, it shakes the map up, you have fireballs and smoke going everywhere, it looks pretty sick, and then after that, the volcano has this nice, like, really nice red glow to it, at, like, off in the distance, instead of being, like, dormant i guess you'd say it's active now i don't know it looks pretty sick to me but i mean that's about pretty much all i have to say about this map it is a pretty cool map in my opinion although i've only been playing for a short amount of time um i'm enjoying this devastation map so far like i said a lot of maps are small you can look forward to more content over the next two or next one to two to three days at least by Sunday, I have a video covering every single piece of content, including Extinction. So you can look forward to that. Subscribe if you aren't already. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Sinister Skater. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.